Hello, my juicy co-creators. Lilu here in Los Angeles, actually for one of the very last interviews uh, here, because I'm flying off to Kauai for some more juiciness. I love it. I'm sitting today next to Anna Mika. You probably recognize her. I did a few videos with this amazing uh, teacher, author, uh, just wonderful, wonderful being. And I so appreciate spending this moment with you right now. Thank you, Lilu. It's always great to be with you. Yes. And I wouldn't miss that opportunity being uh -huh. in LA and you being in Malibu area is very close. cool yes you're very close um, this is about a new paradigm of love mm -hmm. this is really the theme this is there is a major shift happening on the planet people are realizing that there's so much more than the regular day-to-day -day, uh, work and job and that it is there is something new being redefined mm -hmm. how do you explain that can you tell us more about this paradigm absolutely the shift in consciousness going on that everybody can feel it's so palpable, it's so powerful and strong. And what we're, what's happening is that we're shifting from one entire reality to another paradigm. And so maybe I can describe a little bit the old versus the new because that will help, yeah. maybe help people understand. The old paradigm, in the old paradigm, one has a very linear and solid and concrete feeling of right and wrong doing it right and in terms of love what people do in the old paradigm is look outside themselves for love and when you look outside yourself you're denying the fact that the love is already there mm -hmm. and that you are that love so you've already created a distance or a separation between yourself and the very love itself mm -hmm. now the quickening and the shift in consciousness has to do with coming into a very new paradigm on the entire planet and in fact um, that has to do with a fluid system it's not solid and it's not concrete it has to do not just with the fluid systems in the body but literally m a movement of energy in our energy fields in our aura on the planet in the galaxies that's completely um, a different pattern it's not linear it's not cause and effect it's where there's so much neural neuroplasticity and complexity of energy that things literally move in a completely different way and can drop in from out of the blue in a nonlinear way that is like what we would call chaos perhaps where but there's an or an elegance and an order in that seeming chaos and seeming disorder there's an order of so much elegance that brings us into new possibilities and new solutions that we uh, want right now for the planet yeah. we we need those in terms of cleaning everything up in terms of entering a very different way of being so if we stayed in the old linear way of cause and effect where one plus one equals two then we always end up in the same with the same solutions but the new paradigm is literally where we recognize and acknowledge that the love and the safety, the security, the value, the belonging, the mattering are already within us. And it's not something we have to struggle desperately to make happen, but instead we're willing to embrace within us on a very deep uh, feeling level. We're willing to acknowledge and embrace within us that that love that we desire is already who we are. Mm -hmm. And that we then can allow creation to occur from that place, which brings about completely new solutions in a nonlinear fashion. Yeah. Because even though people describe a lot, well, you become more at peace, we're actually complexifying in a good way, which does simplify. Everything becomes more peaceful, yet so complex, like when you have vast creativity, when you have something that's so rich in its brilliant complexity that you couldn't even imagine it that it's so far beyond your imagination, yeah. that's where the miracles begin. That's where, beyond synchronicity, we end up with uh, literally the realm of the miraculous. And the new paradigm has to do also with really understanding that you are already extraordinary and magnificent beyond your imagination. Because there's always some kind of unrecognized parts of us that we we don't yet recognize we haven't recognized is us yeah. and the old paradigm has to do with very much living from the limitations of what we already know and from the limitation of the personality and the body whereas the new paradigm has to do with 
being in an integrating, an ongoing integrating state with your self, your soul and spirit, your masculine, feminine nature, and also with all that is, with God, Goddess, all that is, at such a beautiful level that there's an unfolding that occurs very organically without effort, without struggle. Literally, the struggle ends. It, it, it's like erasing the past. Mm -hmm. It's as if it was never there in terms of the suffering and the struggle. Things become integrated. Mm -hmm. So there's really, a, there's, there's yet a, a choice to make, right? There is a choice for us to step in this paradigm and to say no to the, an old system or the old, or how do you suggest is best to move forward? Knowing that, because we're experiencing glimpse of it, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's more. <laughs> yeah, there's always more. And that's the thing. There's there's always more and there always will be more because part of our nature is a calling. It's not necessarily to say what is my mission or purpose or what am I here to do. It may seem like that and eventually yes, it it, it will express like that. But there's always a calling for more because if you think about the nature of of all that is as infinite infinite is always unfolding and expanding and enfolding and becoming more of itself so the the process that one goes through is when you discover the places in yourself where you feel restricted or limited or not infinite not limitless or where you feel like you're engaged in suffering in some kind of way and you're willing to recognize those and realize the most important realization is oh I actually have a choice because in the old paradigm it seems like reality when you're in it it's like if you were a child and you put a blanket over your head and you're hiding and you said you can't see me and from the perspective under the blanket it seems like you can't see me and yet as soon as you take the blanket off it's a completely different reality uh -huh. so the first step is always to find where you feel limited or restricted or in engaged in some kind of suffering and would actually like to change yeah. and to realize then there is a choice so you become very aware of where you have restricted yourself and what the basic beliefs are yeah. because when there's suffering there's when there's suffering there's some kind of belief in there of separation mm -hmm. and what separation means is that you're literally not experiencing yourself as one with the very love or safety or for example mattering or value for, here's a good example people struggle and struggle and I watch this all the time to to try to get others to say oh you matter to me I value you you're important you're great you're doing something wonderful mm -hmm. and they base their value and their mattering on what they're doing and it doesn't occur to people I, I see that you know, I noticed this, that it doesn't occur to them that the mattering is innate, it, it meaning it's already there. Uh -huh. How could you not matter? Yeah. You know, everybody matters at such a profound level that, that your very existence matters so deeply. And it's much more about our recognition and awareness of that rather than trying to get the mattering or get the love. So in the old paradigm, we try to get it in order to make ourselves feel a certain way. Mm -hmm. But in the new paradigm, it's what's so. It's just what's so, and there's an acknowledgement and a recognition and a, an embodied feeling that that is so, that it's already who you are, and it's already true of you. And when you start to tap into that feeling, it's a very deep sensation in the body. It's a very deep feeling mm -hmm. when you begin to literally breathe and tap into that yeah <laughs> you're going right there <laughs> and she goes right there <laughs> our sensitive Leelu she's like oh wide open <laughs> just goes oh I'm right there <laughs> I'll go there with you sure <laughs> that's why so, we showed up <laughs> so <laughs> it's so funny <laughs> so when you start to open to that truth yeah that you already matter, that who you are is much more extraordinary and exceptional and great than you could ever even imagine, then when you start to allow yourself to experience that truth, yeah. then, uh-huh, you're feeling it, aren't you? <laughs> I'm watching your energy change. <laughs> I'm feeling a lot of energy from this woman over here. I was like, shoo, she's starting to really buzz with 
<laughs> she's starting to feel her own mattering so deeply that her energy is really changing. And when that happens, what you create comes from that deep inner mattering where you know that you're of value and you know that you matter and you know that you're full of love and safe. Yeah. And then what you create is an expression of your soul and spirit rather than a desperate searching for something from out there to whether it's through you know drugs and alcohol or whether it's through people or whether it's through an excess of whatever rather than searching for it you literally are willing to experience it as an inside as an inside state of being yes. and then create from there yes and from that place we recognize others as being ourselves too From that place, yes, you see um, beyond the personality, you just see directly into their soul with so much love and so much acknowledgement and validation and valuing of others as the magnificent beings that they are. Yes. So you just see right through, it's like, um, it's like having a different kind of eyesight. Yes. Yeah. Truly. Uh, and, and then our life purpose can really emerge. Do you feel that that's really, first the love has to be present to kind of... Uh, more and more that essence or spirit can really lead us to this unique path that we all have yes 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 that's right and um actually this time on earth with this kind of change so this is our common path yeah. is to actually begin to shift paradigms from and we're in the process right now shifting paradigms which is also why the old is breaking down and there's so much chaos in an, so much breakdown let's say because we either willingly choose to change or things break apart and, it, and that's a good thing because all the structures all the institutions everything needs to change so we rebuild on a new foundation but the path is really about joy and fun and creativity and pleasure and sensuality and play and divine lovemaking and it's a path of that and n you don't have to do anything specific You know, there's nothing, I know you smell that. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing specific that you have to do. It's really what you want. Uh -huh. And again, just like knowing that we really have choice, we don't often just say what, we, we think we maybe know what we want, but when it comes from a true heart's desire, we really find what we authentically want that's very different than what we thought we wanted. Right? Mm -hmm. The kinds of people we're around, the kinds of things we do. Well, like when you changed your life mm -hmm. from, you know, whatever your job was to suddenly doing this tour, yeah. it was suddenly, whoa, a whole different, a whole different heart's desire was speaking and, and leading you in a different way. So there's a willingness, too, to be very open beyond what we don't even know that we don't know. Uh -huh. Like beyond what we can imagine. Because then <laughs> giving him the message <laughs> um because there is there is a lot more and it's true and once we start to 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 shine out our lights then i feel it's more about being totally open to receiving and more of the feminine energy that then comes in instead of this is what I want and this is the goal I'm going to reach and this is how it's going to happen. There's truly so much more intelligence in nature and in the universe. We see it in plants and we see it on how we're magically here on earth breathing and breeding and <laughs> it's just a miracle. So why not allow this miracle of life to show us the way? Mm -hmm. And what we've never had in, on this planet to date in, in, at our stage of development, because there's an arc of development of humanity, there's a continuum of development, and we're in a developmental process. And what we've never had yet is an integrated masculine and feminine. What we've had in everybody is a distorted masculine and a distorted feminine. Yeah. And there are tons of workshops and teachers who speak about all those components, but all of uh, or, and speak about perhaps maybe what true feminine energy is and true masculine but what we've never had to date and this is what we're pioneering and map making is an integrating masculine and feminine where each person whether woman or man takes more uh, takes deeper responsibility for discovering and it is a discovery what your authentic feminine and masculine energies are and then how they braid and entwine and dance together because there's a dance that occurs that's beyond our understanding and beyond any concept that we've had of what is masculine, what is feminine, what it really means to be human. Mm -hmm. We don't really no. know. And in this arc or continuum of development, we're in a, a complete discovery 
of what has been previously unrecognized or unknown, mm -hmm. and there's com there's continual growth in that in that place, continual change, yeah. which is the nature of being. Yeah. That's, that's so exciting and it's so exciting to be here and to live this and to pioneer it but as I feel like is it as each of us wake up and open up to this uh, open up our own energy and our spirit and allow our spirit to shine then we are getting the pieces of the puzzle together like sometimes a juicy tour feels like each person speaking its truth and being authentic and and as we put it out there then there is it, it gives the courage to another to pop and another and another and another and then the puzzle is 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 is, is complete like it's time for us to have that courage Yes, this is our time for the for a major, major, major paradigm shift, and that's the difference. We're not just growing; it's literally a shift in consciousness, a fundamental shift. It's not just one more stage in growth, yeah. which it also is, but it's an and. It's another stage of growth, and this particular moment is so pivotal because we're doing a quantum leap, and when there's a quantum shift of consciousness something completely different occurs then again then it's not that linear one plus one plus one plus one it's a completely different paradigm a whole different pattern than was previously imaginable uh -huh. so it's be it's it's so exciting because uh -huh. we don't know and when you become comfortable in the unknown and learn to welcome it and receive and open to the presence of the unknown there's a dance that you are part of. So the difference in feeling between the old paradigm and the new paradigm is that in the old, feelings tend to be very melodramatic and dramatic. Uh -huh. If you notice, they and they recycle. They don't always change. And in the new paradigm, when a feeling is authentic, it lasts for, well, feelings are authentic in the new paradigm, but they last for only a very short time and they move through and there isn't a recycling going on. Mm -hmm. So you don't keep returning to the same place over and over. Mm -hmm. That seems to never change, right? Those places that, oh, I'm back here again. I'm back in the same cycle <laughs> all over again. And it's the same drama each time, right? Or you hear somebody looping and uh -huh. recycling. The recycling only occurs when you're when you go into punishment. You blame and punish yourself and you're not really feeling and you think you're feeling you're feeling you say oh i'm feeling anxiety i'm feeling anger i'm feeling this i'm feeling that but you're really turned off to deep authentic emotion that moves so the old paradigm really i've i've come to discover that all the things i thought i used to feel in the old paradigm yes they're old paradigm feelings but they're completely different uh -huh. than the feelings that occur yeah. in the new paradigm that's why it's so mm -hmm. they're very gentle they're gentle and that's why it's so important then to be in the unknown and to keep on being open and, and and really stepping in this unknown so that we can allow for new things to emerge and be yes. transmuted very fast very fast i also hear that, that you have to we really it's about giving space to all that is isn't there yes what seems negative or positive it's all about giving space deep acceptance where you literally accept and welcome yeah. all parts of you and then you become very discerning about what is an old belief and where am I looping and where am I repeating rather than allowing for something completely different, mm -hmm. something beautiful. Mm -hmm. beautiful. Yay. Yes. <laughs> thank you, Anamika. Oh, Lou, thank you for all, who you are and for everything you do and just for the, the beautiful light that you bring to everybody. And you're just such an... You're such a doll. She's so beautiful. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. And Anamika, I really, really love and uh, think your message is really clear and precious at this time. And I, I'm so grateful to meet all these beautiful co-creators around the world, you know, and share this with you wherever you are sitting today. Know that you are loved and that you have great potential here right now. And this is the choice to make. And we're stepping in the new paradigm of love. How about Humping on the wave right now. <laughs> right, right this moment. Here we are. Yeah. This moment. Yeah. Okay, well, from LA Bye. to wherever you are, much love. Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. <laughs> en français, la prochaine fois. Oui, oui bien sûr. <laughs>